Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Vito Pro Pack Tech LC tool bag. This bag is designed for service technicians, and while it is excellent for many trades, it is tailor made to accommodate HVAC service technicians and their tools and work routines. The Tech LC features 53 various size pockets which will accommodate larger items like meters to smaller items like drill bits. This bag has recently been improved by adding stronger locking zippers and eight new small pockets have been added for drill bits and bit extensions. The bag is nine and a half inches wide by 13 inches long and 19 inches high with the handle up. The empty weight is 7.2 pounds. It has four flat zippered pockets inside and two outside. There are four large and five small D-rings, an exterior electrical tape loop, and a stainless steel tape clip. The bag has a waterproof bottom and is made from a very tough waterproof nylon with industrial strength double nylon stitching. While I've set up my Vito Pro Pack OT-MC, as my electrical tool bag and my Vito Pro Pack OT XL as my plumbing bag. I'm going to set up this Tech LC as my HVAC bag. Let's load this beauty up. This is my Fluke 325 clamp meter. It has the ability to find temperature. Here I've put its sensor in this freezer and I found that it's at 21 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put it in a large pocket. This is my XTech wireless continuity tester, which I'll put in another large pocket. I'll put a set of nut driving bits in a flat zippered bag and a gas fireplace key in one of the small pockets. I'll put a set of Velcro cable ties in one of the larger pockets. I'll put a nice set of bits in the bag, followed by a screw gun. Now I'll zip this side up and add a roll of duct tape to one of the D-rings and a roll of electrician's tape to the other D-ring. Now I'll load up the other side. I'll add a pair of wire strippers and I'll put it in one of the vertical pockets. These are a set of Wiss tin snips, which I'll put in three of the pockets. Now I'll add some screwdrivers, a torpedo level, followed buy some safety glasses. Now I'll add 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and 7 sixteenths inch wrenches followed by some zip ties. Next I'll add some adjustable pliers, a pair of linesman pliers, and a pair of diagonal cutters. Everything fits nicely in the vertical pockets. I'll add a magnetizer demagnetizer which I'll put in a pocket. This is the new Klein 8-in-1 HVAC multi-tool, and this is the Klein 5-in-1 nut driver. I'll put both of them in the front row. This is the Weha 14-in-1 insulated multi-tool, which I'll also put in the front row. These three smaller tools will finish off the front row. I'll zip this side up and add some business cards to one of the zippered outside pockets. On one of the ends, I'll put the Klein non-contact voltage tester with infrared laser thermometer. Then I'll put a pocket knife, followed by a pen and a Sharpie. Then I'll use the D-ring and a cable tie for some Teflon tape. On the other end, I'll put the new Stanley Fat Max tape, followed by a thermometer and a pencil. The bag comes with a padded shoulder strap, which has both a D-ring and a hook for hanging the bag if you like. It comes with Vito's no downtime warranty. In conclusion, I think this bag's awesome. It looks very professional and it's built to last. I think the layout is very efficient and organized. I'm amazed at how many tools will fit in it. In fact, I still have extra slots. I'll put a link in my video description for the Vito Pro Pack Tech LC. Also, I'll put links for the Vito Pro Pack Tech OT MC, which I use as my electrician's bag, and I'll put a link for the Vito Pro Pack OT XL, which I use for my plumbing bag. 
I'll put links for the Vito Pro Pack Tech MC, which is 10 inches by 8 inches by 12 inches, and for the Vito Pro Pack Tech MCT, which is 13 by 13 by 16. I'll put a link for the Vito Pro Pack TP4 Technician Tool Pouch, and I'll put a link for the Vito Pro Pack. DR-XL tool bag. Also, I'll put links for all the various tools and testers seen in the video. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.